Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to set up your DCS OpenXR tool to have 90 FPS in VR and not only for DCS, this works on all OpenXR VR games. Stay tuned, I will show you all the settings you have to set up. First thing, you have to run your DCS with OpenXR, DLL in the main folder and then use this command to enable VR and force OpenXR. This is for more skilled users. If you are not able, just download the Open Composite Runtime Switcher, OpenXR, switch to Open Composite and it download automatically the DLL for DCS and that's all. You have to do it only one time. Very simple. I leave you the link in the description. Then you have to download the OpenXR toolkit and make sure DCS Word is flagged there. You have to run only once, then you can shut down and in the next time and this work properly without run only one time this is the main thing you have to have had to do to make the magic possible here just remember the hotkey to open the menu in the game and i now i will show you how to do the magic with the setting inside open xr toolkit Okay, now I the screen through the window mixed reality window, not so performance, but is the only way I could show you the OpenXR toolkit display in VR mode. To open, I use Control, Alt, and Numpad. Okay, when I'm inside the game, and you now see this a window. Now. I will show you the main magic thing is under the system tab. Here by default is automatic that improve your FPS very good. Just because this setting in automatic pump up the system too much. So to read which pixel resolution is on your VR headset and match the same resolution, exact resolution there, okay? So you move down and up until you reach this value. This is the main thing, okay? That make more difference. Now pay attention there. You can uh, use different kind of upscaling here. We have seen that the best performance is with CAS and uh, is great also for top graphic setting. And the turbo mode, if your GPU could support, I suggest you on on. Okay, so this is the main setting. Now I will show you all setting overlay FPS just to show how many FPS you gain in game. Target frame off. As I said, cast on upscaling sharpening. Sharpness as you desire. Fixed foveated off, turbo mode on. Frame rate throttling off. Record statistic off. Now, appearance. Post processing is on your task. For me is off. War scale is important. You have to match with your VR setting. 62% for me, two millimeters, sorry, is 100%. Over prediction reduction, 0%. System override resolution, yes. Display resolution per eye, the same that match with your native pixel resolution of panel of your headset, VR headset. Motion risk projection is disabled. The fault is disabled with this kind of system. That is great. Color gains as your desire. Field of view adjustment. That zoom one pair 
blind eye none now menu setting just for no expert setting no font sites you desire okay but the main setting were the first have showed you and now we come inside the dcs and i will show you which kind of graphic setting and vr setting i've set okay now we walk into the dcs setting open setting and i will show you first thing is that upscaling is off just because we do the upscaling inside the OpenXR tool as I previously showed in this method I that is more better than DLSS okay I want the resolution don't mind is for the screen for down lower down I maintain this resolution just for uh, the streaming as you see a better resolution when I monitor the mind resolution of cockpit display 4 anti-aliasing off upscaling off sharpening off the same thing in post processing on the open XR toolkit texture high terrain texture high shadow I prefer low but I see I can get 90 FPS on my HP reverb also with medium secondary shadow off SSS of visible range medium but you can change to high prefer medium when I am in the or with more aircraft uh, I'm sure that uh, I maintain 19 FPS clouds high water medium SSAO on it's great feature for graphic SSLR of lens effect really like it dirt and flare heat blur low i don't uh, see too many different between low and high but i like it blur motion blur i i don't like motion blur i think it's uh, so bad for simulation the motion blur effect depth of field off screenshot don't mind color grading and then this is important panel clutter glass one time forest visibility 60 percent forest detail factor one scenery details factor one reload radius is the maximum value one hundred and fifty thousand chimney smoke density as you prefer gamma x as you prefer external field of view with your vr setting load switch factor 1.2 maximum fps uh, 180 but uh, the important is uh, a little bit in your maximum frame rate of your headset for me the h2 hp reverb g2 is uh, 90 anisotropic filtering i don't like 16 but uh, this doesn't impact so much on your performance so you can set uh, 16 prefer turning object shadow flat cockpit global illumination on messages font scale one scale guy one rain droplets on vsync of full screen of cursor confined to game window on okay and i suggest you to save on a preset slot this is not top performance but really really make uh, many difference uh, between uh, don't use uh, opening XR over sampling and use uh, the DLSS upscaling DLSS upscaling for me work good headset VR but this setting is uh, very very good so I suggest you to try and make a fine tune by your this depends hardware configuration on your CPU on your GPU I'm using uh, uh, Intel E9 900K clocked at uh, 5 gigahertz or a little bit less and uh, for GPU I have a 3 Nvidia 3 
AT high view for now. And the last setting, when you've done this, you don't have to reboot. Yes, so you can fine tune as much as you want. Some difference, okay? Before the this kind of setting, I was using DLSS with war setting not so much like this, and then here I was 0 0.5. Now I push up here, I push more up here, and also here. You can move with more attention because 0 0.1 here make more difference. No, I see 8 is a great value for me, but the system run at 90 FPS also if I put 0 0.9 and if I want one lower down only this only texture to medium so great result when you change this and hit okay you have to reload the system so make this with attention to, to start with 0 0.5 0 0.6 and don't change uh, anymore here just make fine tuning there and that's all for the setting in this panel and finally we test in vr i am in apache i use hmd overlay i'm uh, not using this right now but uh, it could increase the work on the gpu and uh, you can see the fps rate but 90 90 91 90 91 error okay but if i look from outside 90 from inside this and high graphics okay i'm alone not uh, other aircraft it's good great condition but it works and never seen this performance before this is a also i'm streaming so it's more difficult for GPU and CPU right now. Okay, now I try to make some tests. I'm not a skilled pilot, but uh, I see the dust moving, wonderful. I see the grass moving and 90 FPS, 90 magical FPS with the trick and the setting showed you. You can reply replicate sorry you can replicate the same setting also for other games i use it on assetto corsa competizione i use it on i racing i using on microsoft fly simulator 2020 that is very very heavy more heavy than this yes but it works so you as you can see, no loss of frame, no slow frame rate, better than DLSS. This is great. Now I'm moving in an area where there are more vehicles and 90 FPS. I'm moving my head and remove HMD because I really don't like that now. But it works. I have a tool from OpenXR Toolkit that show me the FPS I have right now and granitic 90 fps also openxr have solved the bug of the moving heli when i look up it was very bad now it's perfect perfect in vr is perfect it's great great effort openxr made good work for our vr experience okay as you see very high detail now i'm moving to co-pilot seat just to show you some heavy graphics again i see high detail on the tad it's wonderful use apache ah64 because this is a heavy model also special when i am in co-pilot seat here because i'm using 300 mfd right now this was very very heavy but that worked so good so so good 90 fps wonderful result okay thank you for watching hit uh, thumbs and like button if you like this video i hope you enjoyed this subscribe for more of this video and see you again